Okay, so you want to make your very own PC multiplayer game. Now, um, we're not going to get into the multiplayer stuff today, but I just have already have it imported. Which is fo I'm using Photon VR for a PC game, which is kind of weird, but it works. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a cube, like so, and then just make your map, basically. What I recommend doing is you're going to go Window, Package Manager, and then you want to come over to Unity Registry and search up Pro Builder. Like this and then you want to go ahead and install this and then also once you've done that go to post processing and then you also want to install that but first i gotta get this done so baby okay guys so i have all that imported so now once you have um that op imported you want to go over to the link in the description and you want to go ahead and download the first person module um and then you want to click open in unity and then click import and then you want to go ahead and all and then import Okay, so now that you've done that, you want to do is you want to come to your assets folder, and then you'll see first person module, and then that's it right there. So create, um, go ahead and right click right here, and then you want to go since you imported Pro Builder, you want to go Pro Builder, and then you want to find plane. Set position to zero 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 like so, and then just make it how you want it. Well, I'm gonna make it like that. Now, what you want to do once you've done this is, um. Wait, um, yeah, you want to drag in your first person module, the, and then, um, going to find it, like, find the move thing, which is up there for me. Just going to drag it up, so then it's above your thing, like that. So, it should be on your map, like that. Or you're going to change the pos position, which, honestly, I recommend doing that. I'm going to put mine to, like, there. So you can copy these settings if you want, it's this stuff right here. Copy those if you want, and then make sure this is zero, zero, or zero, uh, make sure it's that, basically. Um, and then, um, what you want to do is you want to click on, um, you want to find the camera. So, player camera, and then we're going to click add, and then you want to search up post, and you want to find the layer. And now, the, once you've done that, you want to click this, and then, you, what you want to do is you want to click layer, add layer, add layer, and then do, like, RTX. That. And then what you want to do is you want to come back to the player, and then you just want to add an RTX like this. Um, actually, no, put it to everything, put it to everything, leave it as everything. Then you'll get this, this warning, but it's just a warning. Then create an empty, um, I'm just going to name it RTX, like this. And then what you want to do is you want to. Okay, so then, sorry about that, you want to add a post-processing volume, like this, put is global on, then you want to click new, and then add effect, unity, bloom. Then turn on these three, or the first two, and then the fourth one. So you can start customizing these however you want, so you don't put it too high. The settings I recommend is point, um, you know, you're going to put it to like one, or, okay, uh, Try two, and then point, um, hold on, let me try finding some good settings. Okay, so yeah, once you've done that, um, I'm actually gonna make this a little bit, um, higher, and this a little bit less. Put this to, like, one. Okay, so now that you have your settings, um, it should look a little bit better, so if you go ahead and hit play, um, you won't get that pop-up, because that's because I added Photon, but basically, oh, shoot, I gotta do that. It's a little bug. But basically, once you've done that, it might look a little weird, but we're going to change the skybox. But as you can see, you can crouch. You can um, WSD. You can also use arrow keys. And you can hold shift to sprint. You can crouch. Now, if you do spam cr shift and crouch, you will get, like, this very fast speed glitch. And I'm about to show you how to fix that. So what you want to do is you want to go to first person module. You want to go to first person. And then open up first person thing. Like this. Once you open up the script, it should load. And then, so you are going to have to remove crouching for this to work. Or you can use, cr you can remove crouch or sprint. Um, I, rec I recommend just removing sprint. And then making, um, um, like the normal speed faster. So jump, cr um, where is it? Where is, where is, um, okay, awake. I'm trying to find, uh, okay, check ground, jump, crouch, head bob. Okay, I don't know where it is, but basically, that's how you do it. You can just go ahead, do that, save. 
Now you can just close it if it gives you a gray screen, and then it will compile like this. So now if you go ahead and you hit play, and then you do that. Um, now if you try sprinting, it, it, the shift key won't do anything. You can still crouch though, and it won't, you can't do the glitch. But it, it does, it does remove sprinting, which is kind of sad. But we can make our speed a little faster if we come to here. We should be able to find, uh, speed, speed, um, sprint key, mm. I'm trying to find it, hold on. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to put this to like 7, let's say. Actually, so what you're going to do is you're going to find the sprint, and then sprint speed, you're going to put the 7, which is actually what I, exactly what I put. So now you should have a, a game where you run in a quite decent speed, and you can still crouch and stuff. It makes it really good, and yeah, there's a working physics. See? See, if you fall, you can fall and stuff. So that's the first part of this tutorial. If you want more, um, like, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.